How's it going, riders? I just wanted to give you a uh, an update on some of my projects. Plus, I want to <clears throat> feature one of my vintage bikes that I have. So I'm going to do that first. Here is my Schwinn Starlet. It is an all original bike, including down to the tires. I don't know if you can read that. It says Schwinn Typhoon Cord. Um, this came out of Columbia, South Carolina. It was from the story. I picked it up off a, 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 a couple that go around and they, you know, they're kind of pickers and stuff like that. But they picked it up from an old lady who had this bike since she was a little girl. She's kept it in the garage. And as you can see, you can tell this has been kept in the garage. It is almost for a, a bike this age, you never find them in this condition. It's very rare. Uh, it didn't look like the tank even had any batteries in it. I did take it out to check if they worked and it they work perfect. Uh, the headlight is missing. It's supposed to have a Delta rocket ray. You can see where it was, but it's not there anymore. Um, I did replace the Starlet uh, decal, but it's already yellowing, um, just like the original. So it's uh, it doesn't look too bad. The chrome could clean up very well, but I think I'm going to keep it just the way it is, just because it's really literally untouched. You can see the head badge. A lot of times these fade, um, but this one is in perfect shape for for its age. <clears throat> The, the grips usually are, are like a cream or a white, they, and they have the Schwinn script. I don't know if you can see that, but I could probably throw those in the ultrasonic cleaner and get those cleaned up. If you look at the seat, there is not a tear on this seat. This thing is beautiful. The chrome probably could clean up a little bit. It's a little greenish underneath of there, but it's not too bad. It has a Schwinn script on the back of the seat. I mean, this thing is just almost immaculate as far as the seat is concerned. A uh, little cracking on the back of the, the back tire, but that's okay. It's not really going anywhere. And these are readily available. Well, not readily. I guess they would say these are these old original tires are more available than some of the other ones. I, heck, I might even have one sitting in my, my stash. Um, you can see some of the chrome on here. It's a little dull but it would clean up not too bad so that was <clears throat> the starlet now let's take a look at serial numbers on this one i forgot what year it is i believe it's 1955 but if you look at the left rear dropout this is going to be after 1952 i believe and then anything prior to that is going to be under the, the uh the bottom bracket right there so we're going to type that in that's M5. Let's see if we can bring it up here. It's 8977. Let's see if there's any numbers after that. We'll just try that one. Fine. Oh, 1954. You can see built in September of 1954. Maybe somebody, the little girl, needed it for uh, either her birthday in September or possibly she needed it for school and they bought it for school. But this is a great example of a really nice original bike. Coming on some of my projects. Now you haven't seen, unless you follow my old campus bicycle page, you may not have seen this one until right now. Actually, I bought two projects. One of them is a Honda C90 or CM91 um, motorcycle. This was kind of uh, something that came up, and I did not expect to buy it. But I sold some bicycles at that swap meet, and <laughs> this is what the fruits of my labor were. Um, I have done some work to this bike. When I got it, it was a lot of it was kind of thrown together just to look like a whole bike. But I have <clears throat> cleaned up the carb and had a repair. Um, if you can see right there, that nut. It was stripped out, so I had to size it up and thread it. I did replace the front fender. It broken. Uh, the original one, the brackets basically where it mounted were broken. Um, I replaced, apparently, the guy that had it before me. Um, he bought it off a guy, that original owner, and they had all kinds of new parts for it. 
So they had new rims, which I laced up and put on there. I've cleaned this whole hub, went through the whole thing, greased everything. So that's all ready to go. Same with the rear hub. Went through, greased everything in here, uh, cleaned it all up, put it all through the ultrasonic cleaner, um, and got that repaired. I have a new battery as well. Oh, let's see what else. I had to kind of put some more things back together. Um, I do need to replace this muffler. There's a lot of dents up in here, but that's okay. Um, I got it running, finally. Uh, well, it did run when I first got it, but it all it did was idle. I didn't go anywhere with it, but I got it running, riding down the street, and it, it started warming up, and then it would stall out, or kind of a hard start afterwards. <laughs> Turns out, it's the coil. So I had the coil in order, and it's coming. Um, let's see what else I had. To, I had to put some parts back on. I will be replacing the seat at some point, or the seat cover. The, the patty needs to be replaced. Um, I have new tires for it. You know, it just has a bunch of new gaskets and stuff like that and little things. But this one's real close. All I would have to do um, now is to get the uh, the coil and it should jump right up. I will be looking for shocks for that one as well. These work, but they're kind of rough. I, they'll work for now until I can find some new ones. Also, not too long afterwards, I picked up this Honda 50. Um, this one was a little worse off as far as the engine is concerned. Didn't run when I got it. Actually, it was seized up when I got it. And after looking into it, turns out, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it's it sat outside for about two years. But if you could see this as well, there is a broken stud there. And on the, the head as well, there is a broken stud. It's in that box of parts. So... This one's a little more of a, a project, but the wheels are good, tires are good. The exhaust is roughly, roughly all right. He got a little bit of flaking over there. I might just sand it down and spray it. Um, I do probably need to replace the battery. And I do have the, the leg covers. They're sitting right there for both of them. Um, the seat is a, it's okay, but I think I should, I sh will be able to get another cover. Um, but for the most part, this bike's actually in pretty good shape cosmetically uh, the engine is just where it's it's real rough if this person would have left uh, this bike alone and left or at least left it in the garage this would have been a way better deal but it's not too bad um, I'll get this one going as well I'm thinking about doing an engine swap versus replacing all these because it isn't a 50 cc um, <clears throat> my son's bike burned out the I burned out something, so it doesn't run. That was my when I broke down. Uh, I haven't got I got the parts in. I just haven't got around to it. Um, I haven't done anything with the 80 or the YD100. Um, just haven't had time to get to it and see what else. Um, the other project for the the other uh, 100cc I have sitting over here waiting to get done. That will be a project that I think I want to jump on next. And get it done i would like to have it done in in june at least and kind of have the progress going there anyway so there you have it and that's the the update for all the projects and the feature of the the old the old schwinn so until next time